Alright, I know what you're thinking. Didn't we just have a video drop earlier today? Yes, the answer would be yes. However, we kind of just stumbled into the Tarantula Hawk build, just trying to test out a few new pets from the new update, and we just kind of fell into a Tarantula Hawk setup, and it worked, and it was pretty cool. But it kept nagging at me. I feel like we didn't quite push it through that final little bit, you know? We didn't build a pack around the Tarantula Hawk, really get something cohesive working there, so... That's what we're going to do here. We're going to revisit it. Just a little addendum, if you will. Get the whole team going. Get a huge scaling pack going so we could actually get these tarantula hawks huge. And we're just going to see how good it is. Now, I will say, one thing I learned is tarantula hawk is one of those pets that's really difficult to pull off because you have to get it not only level 3, but also really high statted, right? Getting high attack quickly and getting a level 3, and getting a support unit that can follow up and take out the rest of the enemy team, you really don't have a whole lot of time to pull off all these different angles and really get everything together. So take a look, let me know what you think, see if you would have played it a little differently, but for now, let's jump right in. Alright, we're taking another look here. Um, I want to see if we can really full send the Tarantula Hog build a little bit. Um, just gonna give it a, a, a single shot, really, just to give it a, a go. Um, if it works, I guess this will be in a video. If not, then this probably will just go to the void, so we'll see. Um, starting out here, though, unfortunate ant luck there, but we have a mouse, so I don't think we were winning anyways. <laughs> Ooh, double, not double, triple bunyip. Don't mind if I do. Um, so they got the mouse homie, which actually, weirdly enough, the Chihuahua might have won it for us. I'd have to go back and check, but that I think he might have, with the repositioning, given us the dub there. Okay, honestly, I think what we do here, sell the mouse, throw in a baboon, and then we sell the gibbon, go Bigfoot. I'm like this. So we can get some pretty saucy, you know, early baboon scaling. I mean, I love Bigfoot early too. It just, the little bit of extra rolls makes a huge difference, I think. I think we're, yeah, we're looking good. Okay. I love it. And yeah, as long as we got the Bigfoot cooking here, I'm not too, too worried. We have an albino squirrel. Um, I've never played this guy before, but he seems pretty good, to be honest. Um, so if we sell Ant here, let's see what kind of foods we get. I mean, that's honestly not that bad. For turn four, I mean, I'll definitely play two apples here. Um, if, if you couldn't tell from playing it here, and we got two doubles, hell yeah. Um, so the that mouse guy, albino mouse, whatever he's called, basically you take... You get rid of the shop and you put three foods, three random foods, your tier or below, and discount them by one. Ooh, this is another one. Okay. Um, hmm, maybe we just see lion here. This is tough. Maybe we set it up like this. I like sea lion, and I also want to try this cat here, the farmer cat. So I think it works like, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. I wasn't sure if it worked like that. Um, that's how I read it, but it seems really strong. <laughs> like maybe a little too strong, but yeah, we're gonna try it. I just picture that along with a rabbit in a hippocampus, kind of insane, low key. And we just got a ginormous Bigfoot over here. Not a problem at all. Ooh, another baboon. Maybe we do it like this. Oh, another, another baboon. Okay, this is tough. So we could bet a fish pill. Then we would force squad. And we'd be buffing nothing. Or we could brain cramp. Hey, maybe we brain cramp here. Let's grab a peach. I want to save the rerolls for next turn. Because we're almost on tier 4. So I'm fine just running a peach here. Um, 
Okay, <laughs> that guy's a little strong. What the heck? I, didn't, I don't even know what he does, but that ox just got huge. Alright, well, moving on, I guess. Ooh, an early cow. Lovely. Okay, let's... Yeah, let's just stack it up here for a second. We could go another baboon. That'd be kind of crazy. We'll see what we run across here. Albino squirrel, maybe? I just don't know if it's good later on, you know? Um... Yeah, I think we just set it like this. Keep an extra reroll. I don't love rerolling with somebody frozen in the shop, but I think this is fine. Um, yeah, we're gonna be fine. The giant brain cramp helps out a lot. <laughs> um, more baboons, okay. I mean, maybe we side stack them, I don't know. See if we can find another. So what are we looking for here? Um... Armor chicken, no. That would be like if you got it really early. Another baboon, sure. There's a tarantula hawk, okay. I like this. Next turn we'll get the tarantula hawk. Baboons will start buffing him. We're in a good spot. Yeah, I think this is fine. Put the baboon in the back, because we're eventually going to combine them. So start giving one attack and give the other one health. I think that'll be good. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, not gonna happen there, brother. Who do we get rid of, though? <laughs> That's the question. All of our guys are actually pretty high statted. Brain Cramp is just so good, I feel like you can't get rid of him. Like, we, we probably have to eventually, right? Right... Maybe we just send it. Um, we don't need skunk. Don't get me wrong, skunk would be very good, but we're we're going a little different route here. We're going tarantula hawk. Get a little cow cooked up. Don't mind if I do. Start getting our tarantula hawk going. Um, we could have sold the cow and got a rabbit there, but. Ooh, okay, hold on. This is what I'm talking about. All right. So the dream that I'm envisioning here is... What would that be? Two... Two tarantula hawks, a hippocampus, and a rabbit. And you essentially have a, an open spot for the farmer cat, and you just spam farmer cats over and over. And then they all just get huge. That's the idea. I don't, I don't know if it'll work like that, but... That's the goal. We take an L. Got a little skunk links action. Ooh, early level two hippocampus. Don't mind if I do. We could maybe try Leviathan here. We have to get rid of Bigfoot and Dude, that's tough. Go cow here. Um, we get the farmer cat, who is only going to give health to one guy, unfortunately. That's why we need the rabbit here. Okay, let's try this. There's an argument to be made, keeping the sea lion instead of the baboon here. But I kind of like that the baboon is still going to be buffing up a bunch. Specifically targeting, you know, these two homies. Uh, get a little turkey summon build with a B. Dang, dude. We actually almost got through them. Okay. A new B summon build just dropped. Honey, wake up. Alright. Get another Leviathan. Um, armor cats. If only we had a rabbit. Uh, again, it's only hitting... Or it's only giving health to our homie here, our tarantula hawk, but I think that's fine. That's the only one we really care about anyways. Maybe we roll here, we can 
buy Kappa and pill it. See what we get here. A brain cramp <laughs> again. I feel like you were just on our team. Okay. Alrighty. I mean, maybe we should have not done that because then we don't get the Leviathan. No, oh, dude. <laughs> this is hard. Oh, we get to see the. What is that thing called? Um, the the oyster mushroom turns the pet in front of you into a copy of you. So you used it on a little homie. So we do have the combo here. I mean, we gotta try it, right? And I mean, we could actually send the moose here too. I think moose with hippocampus might be the fastest scaling around. I don't think I put any donuts in here, so that might be a problem. Mm, not great. Dingray, maybe. Oh, just kidding, we have a cow. Okay, so I think Tiger here is probably we'll say objectively the right play but I kind of want to see how it works with just multiple huge tarantula hawks so we're not going to go tiger this time but I do think tiger is in a uniquely powerful position Ooh, 50 attack love to see it um, with the tarantula hawk I think we talked about it in the previous video what is this guy's build by the way <laughs> what are you revving up over here He's revving up a royal flycatcher build. Um, but yeah, so... I think Tiger is just a really cost-effective way to buff and kind of jump up off of a Tarantula Hawk. But we're going to try side stacking here. See how it goes. Um, I do think we... i get rid of the rabbit here. Um... Yeah, we can get rid of Rabbit, because honestly the fish is going to level up and give buffs to some homies too. I think it's probably going to result in more buffs than the Rabbit otherwise would have. At least that's what I'm going to tell myself. Maybe we go another Hippocampus. Okay, so we got a lot of stuff frozen. We got a big turn coming up next turn. Okay, the worst two hits the fish could have possibly chosen. That, <laughs> that's unfortunate. Um, we, you're not going to win this one. Yeah, so that's another one. <laughs> that's a build that's going to be pretty friggin' strong. But we're, we're not in business to do those kind of builds. Okay, now we have a level 2 here, but he's really low attack. Hey, this is kind of the, the struggle, right? You, you can either... <laughs> You either get the really high attack homie, but he's like level 1. Or you invest in a level 2 for another homie, but he's like really low statted. This is where a tiger would be very nice. Um, okay. Another tarantula. Another tarantula hawk? Okay. Let's see how this does. We're getting there. We're starting to get the health cooked up. Um... Yeah, we should be good here. We are, in fact, good here. Alright. Most likely one battle left. Let's just get this Tarantula Hawk to level 2. And then... I think we just go Cat Fried Shrimp. Hope that the fish hits the 29 attack Tarantula Hawk so he gets another trigger. And that's about all we got. <laughs> let's, let's see if it's enough. Come on. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Alright. Um, we're actually good? We are good. Wow. So yeah, we, we side stacking tarantula hawks. Um, might be a little too ambitious, potentially. Uh, it worked, but is that not the same thing but worse as just running a tiger behind it? Maybe. I think you're probably better combining those into a level 3. Not wasting all of your gold and time buffing up the second one. 
and just go a tiger. It, it's a lot easier. It makes more sense that way.